Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with another episode of our Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod let's play. So we've been off for, I think, a couple weeks on this series. I've just had, like, no time to record anything lately. Uh, luckily I was ahead on, um, like, very ahead on Battle Brothers, and then I had pre-recorded a little bit of our Total War Attila series, um, in preparation for getting that started, and so I luckily had a few of those videos to put out, but I've had, like, almost no time to record lately. So hopefully we can change that. Um, we're going to try to get back into this series. But I think we may wind it down and start a new Crusader Kings 2 series fairly soon. I'm not sure when exactly. But definitely things are starting to fall apart with uh, the Kingdom of the North here for us. And since we're losing that like forward momentum, I don't want to kind of hit the same plateau that we hit earlier. Where things really dragged for a couple of episodes while we struggled to sort of gain control back. So, we'll see, but I'm sort of leaning toward that at this point. So we are, again, rejoining Lady Paramount Sybil, who is very vindictive uh, after what the, the Northern Lords did with her brother. Uh, her brother being Lord Paramount Jojen, who was basically declared insane, and um, his aunt, I believe. Let's see, I thought it was her... Her aunt, maybe, so second, I don't, I don't know what relation that would even be, but I think it was like her, yeah, it was Lady Jane. Lady Jane became regent, had her brother Jojen declared insane, and basically ruled in his stead, made him completely powerless, and gave away a bunch of our uh, better holdings. So we lost a ton of ground, and we're continuing to lose it, but we're going to see if we can't turn things around here. So anyways, let's get started. I'll get the clock rolling, and uh, I believe we were trying to retake some of these things that we'd lost to the Wildlings. So we're retaking Overton. I'm not sure why they decided on Overton, to be honest. But yeah, we were very, very nearly defeated there. And if they came back, we probably would be, but I think that they've got their hands full. North of the Wall for the time being, there was some rebellions happening. And so that might keep them occupied long enough for us to reclaim all this ground. Um, our military might is pretty much decimated at this point. We were defeated where? Ah, right. We have a rebellion on our hands. So let's see. Are you surrendering? They are surrendering, okay. Right, so he's imprisoned, and we will probably execute him, or at the very least revoke his title. So that's taken care of. Now then, we can send you up here to reclaim. This is the stuff that we lost to the Wildlings. This was being taken from Lord Cregan. So let's, uh, let's revoke that title. And then we can basically ransom him to whoever his new lord is. Apparently it's Clay of Weeping Bay. For 10 gold, that's not a whole lot. But I don't really care to execute him and make a bunch of enemies. I'm already making enough, so let's just ransom him. He's going to hate me anyways, but... At least this way, his like children won't hate me. Uh, okay. So that's handled. One less thing for us to deal with. Uh, we have dangerous factions. That's not good. Let's see. Lord Clay for the North. 200%. That is concerning. Ah, Bannon Bolton, right. I remember him. We could throw some cash at him. That's not going to get us very far, though. Not going to get us very far at all. Um, I could lock him up. Hmm. Basically, I was trying to get him to revolt. The issue now is after that war, I'm not strong enough to deal with him. Yeah. Winterfell is still pretty powerful, and since I've lost the Dreadfort and Last Hearth, my strength is waning. So he could end up defeating us. And that plan will have completely backfired. But I guess we'll just keep the clock rolling. I can't do anything about it now. Even if I do successfully get him to revolt at this point, he's strong enough where he would beat us. So I can't just continue down that route. Alright, let's go ahead and start claiming this. And I think we'll probably go for East Mountain next, since that should be fairly quick. Carhold's going to take the longest, I would imagine. 
So we'll do that one last. <clears throat> oh, and here comes another like Doom stack. I've been playing Total War, so it, it's not a stack in this game, but it's effectively the same thing. And actually, 4,000 is not very big, but given that all we can muster right now is like 2,300, I think it's safe to say that that's more than enough. Uh, my lady, it has come to my attention that nobody has been designated as regent for the north, should the realm need it. Needless to say, this is a perilous position, and as surely squabble and rivalry will emerge without clear leadership, I humbly petition you name me as designated regent to avoid this sort of trouble. This is our aunt, Lady Serena. Uh, after the way your sister behaved... Wait, maybe it's... Yeah, it was your sister. After the way your sister behaved in the position... Yeah, I think that is absurd. Um, let's see... I think maybe making Tomard. He doesn't like us very much, though. But at least his heir would be... Um... Okay, Jane is... Rebelling, possibly? What did she do? Oh, apparently she's all the way over here. We might have to assassinate her. She's obviously a traitor to the kingdom. But yeah, I think I'm going to designate our husband as regent. So... That way... I, I imagine he would be less likely to betray his own wife and son. But you never know. Um, why is he not like toward the top of the list? So his name is Tomard. Maybe he's not in there. Yeah, okay, so we can't choose our husband. That's interesting. Um, right, well, among our council, then, who is the most loyal and competent? Uh, none of them, really. I mean, they're all competent, but very few are actually loyal. Maybe Irana Raventree. She's not a bad character. So, we should probably get her married to somebody, though. Oh, wait, we can't, because then she would lose her ability to be on our council. Um, unless it, it, it might work for like a matrilineal marriage, but I'm not too keen on risking it. So let's see if we can't find her as a regent. Yeah, we can. Okay, so she's super loyal. We'll make her our regent. Uh, do we have anybody that can be a court dwarf? No. Court jester. We can really piss somebody off with that one. Uh, probably not going to use it right now, though. Adventurer threats. Oh, so is she making like one of those big blob armies? I think she is. Either way, I'm not too concerned with it right now. I'll be more concerned with it later, but as of right now, there's you know bigger threats. Liza Raventree, uh, you are being taught by Jane, so you need a new person to educate you. Para Branch is not somebody I recognize. Let's go with Brennett. He's a pretty solid all-around character. Actually, we'll do Arana. She's loyal and a good character. Okay, uh, over the Vassal Limit. We've been over the Vassal Limit. I can't really do anything about that, though. I mean, I could, but I'm not too inclined to. So about two-thirds the way done there. More like three-fifths or something, but whatever. You guys get the idea. King's House has a new Lord and... The non-aggression pact has been dissolved between two people I don't recognize. Blah, blah, blah. Pines Inn can no longer work the fields, so we're going to lose a little bit of income there. But we have a lot of money, and we're going to hold on to that money because the Iron Bank is certainly going to come back for their money. And we actually have enough to pay them back entirely this time. Although there will almost certainly be an event that's going to cost me something before that happens. So I'm going to save up as best I can. Don't care about car starks killing each other. Our own wars continue. Yes, they certainly do. How old is your son, by the way? I think, yeah, they'll definitely come by to collect before he turns five. So, we'll have to pay for his teacher, obviously, before he turns six. But that gives us, like, several years. So, I think we'll be just fine. We'll have plenty of time. I imagine they'll probably come to collect within a few months. Because they normally don't wait too long. Um, 
I don't think it's every year. Actually, we can check when we'll come next. Um, cool. The peasants like her, at least. The lords don't. Um, so let's see. I think it's in our Intrigue tab. Repay loan. Oh, I can just pay it outright. Hmm. I might wait, though. I'll wait for them to come collect it. Because that allows me to build up a little bit of a buffer between now and then. That's interesting, though. I think last time I checked, it actually told me when they were going to come back. It might be in here. No. Ah, here we go. Uh, a loan will be due for repayment at the expiration date of this modifier. So the 18th of August in two years. Well, it gives me a lot of time then. I thought it was going to be even sooner than that, so... We'll, uh, we'll wait it out. Donna Raventree seeks to investigate our legitimacy. You bastard. Your family, how could you do that? Uh, we'll end his plot. Because he's too much of a coward to stand behind it. And then, are we doing anything right now? Oh, we're already trying to kill her, that's funny. Is there anybody that we could bribe to join in on it? Her at 5%, that's not very substantial though. How much does she want? 15 isn't bad. I'll throw 15 at her and get her to join. And apparently that's it. So, we'll uh, leave it at there. We'll be at like 28%. But it's a start. Okay. He's going to give it up. Which is good because honestly there's not anything else I could really do about it. And if he found out that we were not legitimate, or if he forged documents saying we were, then we could be in real trouble. So Hallis Flint and our aunt Serena had a son named Darren. And he's probably not going to be a very good character. So that'll probably be the last we hear of him. Alright, how are we doing here? Almost halfway. It should tick up to about half. Yeah. And then we still have to take Seal Shore and Carhold back. We actually have Carhold itself. We need to take uh, East Harbor and Snowdell back. Which actually shouldn't be that hard. I thought we had to take this back. So this will actually actually be probably even quicker than East Melt. And then we have Seal Shore, of course. But the uh, Wildlings keep coming back and forth. Their 4,000-man army retreated. Now they've got a 3,000-man army coming back. We are consistently losing men in these sieges. I do have some that I could raise, though. But where would they come from? Is the question. I imagine Carhold, in which case... Uh, yeah, if they spring up in Carhold right now, they would get crushed. Okay, well, if they move away from Carhold, we'll, we'll bring them back. I should have done that while they were gone. But I was a little bit preoccupied. Yeah, they're leaving already, so. Let's have you start moving as soon as they're gone, and then we'll call up that army and, like, uh, mesh you guys together. Where is... This is only 900. Where are the other ones coming from? Let's see. What am I still lord of? Ah, White Harbor. So the rest will be down here. No, actually not. Let's see. It could be... Overton. Because we just took that. Only 300 there, but I'll call them up. Because every little bit counts. So where does that leave? Pine's End? I didn't realize we were Lord of Pine End. Pine's End. But yeah, that's where the rest of them are. Well, I'll call them up and we'll see what happens. It's going to be difficult to get them... Well, it may not be. They seem preoccupied with something. Let's get rid of these. Uh, don't care, don't care. Okay. So yeah, it looks like they're heading back to their own territory, so we should be able to get these guys all in the same area. And we might actually be able to beat them. I can't go beyond the wall, though. As we saw, the attrition is just way too severe up there. It's brutal. So, 
we're kind of better off just, you know, trying to defend our our own territories. And we're still making money despite having our armies raised, which is good. Um, and we're only using... I think at this point we're only using our own levies. That may not be true. But the majority of our army is our own levies, so... As far as other people not liking me, that shouldn't be too much of an issue from this. They dislike me for other reasons, obviously, but I don't think too much of it is because of levies. Uh, Martin Snow wants to join us. I don't really have use of you, and I don't want to throw 40 gold at a character that's just going to sit around. Especially given that I have more uh, members of my court than I'm... Well, these are vassals, so that's more to do with like landed lords than people in my court. But yeah, I don't need any more subjects, is sort of the moral of that story. Is there anybody I can still call up? 87. Okay, so we got the majority of them. Basically just the 80 or so that were in White Harbor is all that's left. And what are we currently taking right now? East Harbor. I guess we're going up against the garrison there. Yeah. And they're trying to take Last Hearth from uh, Lord Krieger. Okay. Marshal Lord Jior II told me about his ideas. Couldn't really understand what he was talking about, but he was adamant in his belief that it was Im that it would improve the military. For six gold, we get increased levy and fort sizes for a couple of years. Uh, sure, it's only six gold. Every little bit will help us at this point. I've noticed that Jior is hardworking and everyone seems to like him. I'm deciding between having my marshal heighten the morale of the troops or try trying to recruit more soldiers. Levy size plus 10. Let's go with more morale. Because when this ends, and it's going to end in about a year, then my levy sizes will go back down. So I'd rather take the morale boost and so the guys that we have will just be a little bit more effective and we won't have our army size fluctuating. Okay. So we'll be done with... Wow, it's a rough winter. It's actually summer, but it's saying that conditions are getting really bad. And I don't think winter in Game of Thrones or Song of Ice and Fire works quite the same way it does in the real world. Like, winter seems to be this thing that can last like several months or years even. I think they even mentioned that in the show. I think there's been like winters that have lasted years in that universe. So I think we could technically be in winter conditions despite the fact that it's, you know, August. Or, you know, it was June. And then obviously we're in the north as well, so it's basically like winter year-round here. Regardless, but obviously conditions will be more or less severe depending on the uh, the actual season. Yeah, see, devastating winter. Getting it pretty bad. Probably doesn't help that like these walls have been kicked down a few times. Go ahead and just assault that one. It's only 67. Okay, so we got car hold back. We're slowly retaking our territory. They're chipping away. Actually, they're gonna they're gonna take last hearth any second. So once we're here, I might immediately. Oh, too late. I was gonna say I might immediately go over there and see if I can chase them off of it. Are they gonna flee? They are gonna flee because they don't get any defensive bonuses here. I don't think we'll catch them. No, we're gonna get there a couple days after. But we can take this right back. And it'll be pretty fast. We're starting to run out of time as well. But I'll be posting this uh, the same day that I record it. I just got home from taking an exam. So I'm recording this. I'm going to throw it up there for you guys because I didn't post any videos today. Uh, so I think this will be going up alongside like Battle Brothers. But I'm going to try to keep posting this every Sunday and Wednesday as I was doing. I just, I've been so behind on recording and everything really lately. So I'm trying to catch up. Um, did they get a bonus there? They do. That's unfortunate. But they're going to take that. I don't want them to do that. 
but we should be able to take this within the next minute or so and then we'll try to at least chase them off of it hopefully they flee if they don't we should be able to win that but it's going to be a tougher battle than it needs to be because they get a defensive bonus i again don't need any more people in my court especially not ones that are charging me money um we're almost there looks like we get some free piety that's always nice especially since she likes to execute people because we need piety to do that um so there's our successful siege and yeah we can't chase them off so we'll basically run them beyond the wall or at least up into the gifts and then we'll probably oh i think i would have caught them actually your cousin arana has caught grayscale no the one person loyal to us and competent and she's freaking dying. <sighs> Seems the gods don't favor us. Like, forget her. I mean, that obviously sucks, but at the same time, like... Wow, it's slow trekking, apparently. They're gonna get to Arendelle before we get to Shadowmoor, and we started... Oh, no, I guess not. Where are you headed now? Probably this Crow's Edge? Yeah, that would... I should have just kept going. This is one of the problems with not holding the gifts, is like, it's so hard to hold the line, because if they hold this, they can hit five different provinces from that one. And they only have to defend one. I have to defend five, and I can only attack one. So, I'm at a huge disadvantage in losing those. But the Night's Watch just completely got obliterated. They didn't do a damn thing to slow the uh, Wildlings down. We got a little bit too aggressive, obviously, and we, we took Craster's Keep and then tried to take other territory around it and you know that didn't work out well for us but the night's watch didn't do anything they just got steamrolled um but yeah we're gonna end it here i think uh i it might be like a minute or two under what i usually shoot for but it should be fine so anyways thank you guys so much for watching i had a great time playing some crusader kings 2 with you again and i look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode